All right, so today's video is just a really quick mow because it's supposed to be raining for the rest of the week. So need to get a mow in before this thing gets overgrown. Um, but yeah, special mix has kicked in really well. It's now been five days since I put it down and it is looking schmick, like so good. Man, anyway, I'm gonna get a mow in. Really need to get onto these garden beds, but mowing's a priority, especially on this channel. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so we're just gonna do probably single stripes today. Um, just might do diamond checkerboard, see how I feel halfway through. Um, but still a 15 mil height of cut. Um, let's just get into it and I'll cut the green after this as well. See, I should really be raising this height up a little bit. So the lawn's not liking the this 15 mil cut still, it's not used to it. Haven't been keeping on top of the mowing enough for it to adjust. Um, as you can see, look at all that coming out. That's off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven passes, and just the outside. So that is growing like crazy. So next cut, I'll bring it up because um, I don't like that look. And yeah, we'll go from there. Let's get some sun, baby. It's time to go. Right, so double cut done. So out the front, I did ouch, um, raise the height of cut a little bit on it, up to 17 mil instead of 15 mil, and you can tell it's really held a bit more colour out the front here because I didn't scalp down into it. Whew, why am I puffing? A little bit. See, so much more colour. Yeah. So as you can see, scalped a bit, lost a bit of colour. It's not quite ready for 15 mil, which I thought it was. Just too eager and keen, so back up to 17 mil it is. Um, now, one thing I did notice when I was cruising around um, and mowing is it looks hungry for a feed. The leaf just doesn't look as vigorous as it normally does. Now, when I say a feed, I mean a little bit of nitrogen. Um, last week we gave it some special mix and a bit of liquid iron, which is not going to feed it in terms of giving it a bit of growth and helping it thicken up a bit. So, well it will, but just in different ways. But it does need a little bit of nitrogen now. The reason that is, is because I've been watering this lawn so much while I've been trying to get this seed to germinate. I've still been doing it because I've been doing little patches here and there still. It's pretty much at the end of it now though. I've got pretty much no patches left. Um, so I need to give it a feed now. I could do a granular fert or a liquid app. Um, I'm gonna go a liquid app first, um, just because it's a bit quicker to get out. <laughs> I don't really want to water it in because I've been watering so much. And we've got some rain on the way, so I'll do a liquid fert tonight probably won't film it um, it should really help this green up quite a bit I'll probably just use something like knife plus or Fertex special effects or something with a bit of nitrogen in it um, just to get it going but it's not it's not looking that bad half of it is that it's scalped but yeah just to me it's looking just a little bit hungry it doesn't look as healthy as it should although it still looks pretty healthy on camera it is it is still healthy it just it could be healthier 
Right, well this camera battery is about to go flat, so I'm gonna have to come and film tomorrow because my other battery's flat too. Um, and I'll film tomorrow morning, um, maybe even later tonight, of me cutting the green over here, the tiff tuff. But the tiff tuff's looking good. Looking really good, it's been filling in heaps. Man, like it really has thickened up, but I'll show you guys this tomorrow and then you guys will see this video tomorrow as well. But seriously, raising that height to cut out the front has made a huge difference, seriously. Anyway, see you guys later on. All right, we're back. Next day in the morning, as you can see, rain is coming in. Haven't got long to cut this green really, I think. Oh, might be late today, but I'll cut the green now. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. Mmm, I'll tell you what, the other lawn is looking great after I put down some liquid iron, nitrogen and a bit of phosphider. So I put Fertec Special Effects out and some Fertec Phosphider. Look at that. It's definitely greened up within like, what, 12 hours? Something? No. Oh, 15. Probably about 15 hours, but yeah, it's definitely greened up and definitely moving along. Anyway, let's cut this green um, and then we'll probably wrap the video up there. Raining now. Got a double cut done anyway. Looks a bit tidier. Just glad I got it done before it raining. Well, that didn't last long. It's already stopped. Well, it's only very light now. Anyway, all good. Green looks nice. Very seriously, we are getting there. We're really, really getting there. Like all these spots are nearly filled in. These spots, so close. Look at that. All those green shoots there. This is probably the worst spot, and as you can see, little shoots, new shoots coming up all over these areas. It's looking good. Now this tiff tuff is more actively growing at the moment than a lot of other coochies in town. Um, because your tiff tuff does produce more gibberellic acid, it does seem to grow a little bit more when the weather is a little bit cooler. So it is a, it is a positive, but yeah. It'll be interesting to see how long this actually holds on for into winter compared to other coochers. Even the old mix that I put on yesterday, that Spurtex Special Effects and the Phosphider has made a difference to this backyard overnight. Like seriously. Mate. Good old liquid iron, man. So you technically you could apply liquid iron weekly if you wanted to. Probably a little bit of overkill, um, but if you want to get some quick color back, not a bad idea. Yeah, it definitely looks better. I'll tell you what, my lawn is deficient in phosphorus. Um, so whenever I put liquid phosphorus down, um, and some potassium as well, the lawn all, always seems to respond very, very well from it. Um, yeah, like, seriously, always. It's always a real visual as well. Like you can see the plant always looks healthier as soon as I put that out. Yeah, quite impressed with how much that's turned around just overnight. Anyway, but I will be raising up the height of cut out the back to like out the front up to 17 mil um, because yeah, it just isn't quite ready. I thought it would be, but it's not. It's still a little bit young to be squeezing it down that low. I'm gonna wrap the video up there, but thanks guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna actually try to pump out a few more videos over the next couple of weeks with all this stuff that's going on. People being stuck at home. Tell you what, not a good time at all. So hopefully chucking a few more videos out will help you guys, you know, distract yourself a bit through this odd season. Um, if anyone ever needs anyone to chat to or needs some help, like seriously, feel free to email me and we can chat, just talk, grass, whatever you wanna do. But yeah, hope everyone's going well. Um, and yeah, thanks guys so much for watching this video. Really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, it's been a couple of days since I put that, those two products down and, <laughs> oh boy. Yep, definitely it looks a thousand times better. Man, I should put some phosphite down so much earlier. Anyway, thought I'd just show you guys right at the end of the video. It's been three, three, three days since I put it down. 
um, and yeah, drastically improved. Anyway, so yes.